and they all tended to be white boys who weren't, um, let's say, very nice. I went to two universities. Hockey fans are just white boys who aren't nice, not thoughtful, bullies. Their parents spent money on hockey. They should have gone on a trip instead, you guys. This is the rhetoric that this woman pushes forward. If you don't do what I approve of, you are lesser than me. Get out of your bubble. Why didn't you travel? This is the ultimate elitist attitude. How dare you play sports and put money into your child being healthy and uh, keeping them happy? Do you know how much you have to dedicate to a kid's life to play competitive hockey, not just the money. It's, it's way easier to just go on a vacation and say, we're, we're going here and we're, and we're seeing these things. You have to get up at 6 o'clock in the morning all the time, uh, on weekends, take them to practice, spend all this money on equipment, be attentive to them while they're playing the sports, support them. It's very competitive. It's easy to get discouraged while playing competitive sports, especially hockey. And this is why it makes her sound like she's in a cult. And I didn't say that for three years leading up to the current... Uh, I'm using the word climate a lot today in a non-literal sense. But when everything you preach all has to come with the same things that this woman presents, racial identity, gender identity, climate change, it all has to always be packaged into the same thing. And, ever, and anyone who disagrees with you is bad. I'm sorry it sounds like you're in a cult. Nobody's allowed to disagree with you or else they're... Racist, sexist, misogynist, anti-climate. The big four, you guys. Okay? A bigot, she also used the word. Now, I wrote about this show uh, when it was first starting years ago, back in, uh, let's say, 1992. <laughs> That's a lie. I'm only 18. Um, I wrote about it, and it, and it was basically meant to be an answer, a Canadian answer to The View. How do I know? I'm from Latvia. I don't know. You, you tell me. Um, it's filmed during the day. It's on during the day. Most of his, most of the audience is likely unemployed uh, and watches too much TV. But it did used to have nicer hosts when it first came out. I can think of one that's on the screen right now. She's much more reasonable, nice girl. And and it's just gone down the road of let's see, let's see what crappy things we can say in order to get uh, in order to get more ratings and let's have these social justicey uh, ridiculous types on here that are going to say things. You know, disparaging the most obvious, like, displaying the most obvious faux pas, but it's okay when they do it, but not okay when other people do it. According to a CTV article, um, which is what, it, I believe it airs on CTV, which is why it's so nice to her, she responded to the backlash, and uh, this was actual backlash, not just one random person, as usual, as it usually is when people say backlash. In Wednesday, In Wednesday's opening segment of the CTV series... Alan acknowledged that she, quote, struck a nerve with many people. She said she was only speaking to her own experiences with specific people who were hockey players. Alan's comments on Tuesday's show spawned the hashtag FireJessAllen and further stoked the social media flames that have erupted over Cherry's firing. Sounds like a little bit of backtracking to me. Um, all of a sudden, Miss Social Justice isn't so tough when the squawking of the audience is not there. Go, go! I mean, you pointed to people... Nobody was talking about race except... That's what I've been telling people. Nobody's talking about race except for the people who are responding to this Don Cherry thing. He said, you people who come here or whatever. Uh, he's talking about people who aren't from here. And then they want to go as far as to say that the only reason he knows people aren't from here is because of the way they look, so therefore he must be racist. It doesn't It doesn't hold any water, and you can just say things like, like doesn't Don, do you think Don Cherry doesn't talk to people? Obviously he's out there promoting things for the poppy wearing, which is what he said in the original segment. Obviously he does a lot of things for the military. Um, I don't think he's uh, not helping people in the military if they're not white or immigrants. It's pretty insane. Um, here's a tweet she responded to. I totally agree. I totally agree. This Jessica Allen should be canned just like Don Cherry. Totally racist against white people. Hockey players. Good grief. The left lib tads. Spelling mistake there, so I'll insert Boston accent. Level three. The left lib tads can say anything. Can hit tomorrow. She responds to that with, I hate to say it, but a lot of you are proving the point I tried to make. No, they're not. 
Now, I actually disagree with both of them in this. I disagree that they're proving the point that she was trying to make, but I don't think she's a racist. I think she's likely ashamed of being white. But does she hate white people for just being white? You would have to ask her. I would wager no. She looks to be... Like, that would take a lot of self-hate. Uh, should she be fired? No, I don't think so. It's not the same company. Anyways, one's Rogers, one's CTV. But it, 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 it is hypocritical that she gets to say these things. Um, but Don Cherry doesn't. I guess it's because it's her own race. She's allowed to say th these things. But she should not be fired. And here's a thought for you guys that think she should be. Uh, just don't watch. Here's me not watching the social. Here's me not watching the view. The only time I see these things is when they say something so ridiculous or stupid that I'm just like, we need to, to shut, not shut this down. I need to respond to this because it's so ridiculous. And these are the types of things that are out there. I have friends that say, like, things aren't that bad in terms of uh, the cultural rhetoric and the culture war, as they call it. And I have to tell them, I'm like, I'm not sure if you know that these things exist. I don't think you know what policies are being pushed in places like uh, America and uh, what shows are, what kind of rhetoric shows are pushing, what kind of agenda they're pushing. And it all comes into this package that uh, Jessica here uh, combines into something that's not about it at all. She's got to bring in the climate change. She's got to bring in the sexism. She's got to bring in everything she can because it's all a total package. You go to a women's march, it's about all that. You go to a pride parade, it's about all of that. You go to uh, a Black Lives Matter march, it's all about the same politics. It's always got to be... Uh, it's always got to be infused in there because it's the way that the, the socialism and the communism gets ingrained into people. You take issues that are completely unrelated and you conflate them all so that you can push your agenda and therefore get more power and your political viewpoints um, get pushed. And if some people disagree with that, then you just call them whatever X evil thing that it is as to not have to deal with any actual legitimate arguments about it. So my point is just don't watch these people. You don't need to ask for them to be fired. They're allowed to say what they want to say. Don Cherry should be able to say what he wants to say. And if you don't like it, don't watch the intermission or don't watch that channel. If you don't like what Jessica has to say, don't watch the social, which most people do not if we look at their YouTube numbers. <laughs> yes, it's hypocritical. Yes, she's saying silly things, but I think sinking to the level of these people you disagree with is worse. Uh, it's the level of cancel culture. And the answer I do not think is to get people fired because you disagree with them. She can have that belief. She can have the belief that she's better than other people. Uh, but being better than somebody in actuality, in reality, means not sinking to their level and actually doing the right thing. That's my lesson for you today. If we could have a rainbow go by, I would. So I want to go on this show. I think I should go. I should be on this show if they allow opposing views on their show. That is, and uh, people will watch it. Jesse Ray Allen, as she goes by on Twitter. First of all, Jesse Ray Allen, come on. What are you, a '90s Nickelodeon singer? Come on, Mickey Mouse Club. Jesse Ray Allen live. She's got an alter ego. One on one side, she's Jessica, and the other side, she's Jess Jesse Ray Allen, played by Hillary Duff or something. <laughs> So tweet this at her if you want to see me on the show. Uh, respond in her comments with this video. I live pretty close to where they film it, so it shouldn't be hard. It's just in one sh one <laughs> one stop shot from igloo to igloo. Share it, tweet it, post it, and replies because it is hypocrit hypocritical that she can say these things and keep her job, but Don Cherry can't. So somebody needs to combat these things. I don't know if the social allows alternate viewpoints um, on their show, or if they just want to keep it. Uh, in their own bubble, as she says, telling people that if you don't travel the way I do, if you don't go to two different uni she's from uh, she's from New York in 1991 now, if you don't travel the way I do, if you don't go to places I do, if you don't go to the universities that I do, you're not as good as me. Get outside your bubble, Jesse Ray. Don't forget to go to patreon.com slash Andrew says more additional content, exclusive interviews going up for you on the weekend. The weekends are for the boys, but they're also for Patreon exclusive content. One dollar a month. That's all.